back again but I just think about some things maybe I can show you you wonder how I get uh, this outside cribbed out I always sit on one side of the track or the other with my excavator I don't jump back and forth when I'm doing these but I've got a long enough reach here on my uh, boom that I can get out here out here on this side so what I'll do is I'll get this bucket almost straight up and down and right in here then I'll push that out push that out push that out get as much as out I can out here you see I I push those out there like that <clears throat> then I'll get my teeth and start in at an angle here and try to push this through try to push it through so uh, once I get it broke through then I can start digging a little bit deeper I've uh, show you how that figured uh, might show you that and you can see about how deep I dig I'm about two inches the top of my buckets about two inches below the uh, base of the rail there so um, I don't like to dig it real deep unless there's a lot of mud so because I am going to pick this track up with a tamper but that's uh, show you what we got going on there and this this tie here another thing I do when I'm cribbing this tie right here is uh, a little bit scoot what's called scoot it's a scoot tie so it's not setting uh, exactly at right angles with the rail this this ends in this way a little bit so what I'll do after I get this cleaned out and get this crib cleaned out then I'll straighten that tie up these two are real close together so what I will also do is uh, push this tie down that way so I got a nice I've been doing that every tie that needs uh, needs some good spacing I, I also space the ties with this machine make it uh, nice a good a real good uh, tie spacing is 19 about 19 19 and a half inches on center of the ties from this tie to that tie that's real good so be nice if I had a guy here with a shovel and clean that up sometimes we get uh, an extra guy to come out and help us and sometimes we don't and today we don't I'm all by myself I told you so um, I got a few more a few more to crib out here and I'll be done with this and we can get this dumped and, and another thing uh, wanted to tell you too I'm going to have some time today uh, to get up here with my tamper and tamp this up before we run a train I don't always get to do that I try to squeeze them off or get them get the track tamped before a train runs but if I would not be able to do that then we uh, we run a slow order through the through the area that has been cribbed out until I can get it tamped you know our track speeds only 25 to start with so a 15 mile an hour through here it's going to have to be all dumped with rock but uh, 15 mile an hour is not unsafe at all to do that until it's tamped so we try to get something done I said I got to clean this shoulder up over here yet so a little bit more of the picture and uh, I didn't tell you on the, the last video I made so I thought I'd uh, fill that in like I said if you watch that last video we're gonna get rid of this get some new ballast in here get it tamped up and uh, we're gonna replace I don't like I said I don't know if we're gonna exactly put a plug in and weld the two ends or we'll put a whole stick a rail and probably put a plug the rest of this sticks uh, pretty decent shape really so I'll probably just put a plug in and get rid of this joint and uh, weld it in and it'll be really nice okay thank you again for watching and uh, hope you have a really good day